But first at five, the search is intensifying for five-year-old Jose Maria Alaves. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Natasha Brown. In for Jessica today, authorities continue to plead for the public's help in this case, even as they investigate hundreds of tips at this point. Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryan is live in Bridgeton with the very latest for us. Cleve. Well, this afternoon we heard from the Cumberland County prosecutor as well as Bridgeton police. They do not have any new information to share with us as far as Dulce's whereabouts or any possible suspects, but they have described more information about the search that's going on and have some more specific instructions for how people can help. Now, this morning we were out here when there was about 100 police officers that were combing through Bridgeton City Park. They expanded their search about a mile and a half larger than where they have looked before. Much of this retracing what's already been done. Now, as they were looking, uh, this is the area that Dulce disappeared on Monday afternoon. We saw groups of officers going through the woods, also performing an aerial search with a helicopter. This is the largest search effort since Tuesday when authorities issued an Amber Alert. Now, since then, some of the smaller searches have gone on, as well as reviewing body cameras, dash cams, fixed cameras, and other types of cameras throughout town and local businesses and homes. Investigators are trying to leave no stone unturned in their search for Dulce. They're also asking the public to help watch for the girl and her possible abductor. The prosecutors reiterated they need the public's help and described possible behavior changes that people should look for in some sort of suspect that may be right here in our community. Those changes include suddenly missing work or appointments since Monday, increasing alcohol consumption, abruptly discarding clothes or even a vehicle, or leaving town without an explanation. We want people in the surrounding areas to be uh, alert and, and be looking at behavior. And if they see anything that they find suspicious, no lead is too small or too insignificant for us to uh, take a look at. We announced yesterday that there was a reward for $20,000. Now it is $35,000 for information that leads to Dulce's whereabouts or an arrest, thanks to some new contributions from the police union and a local business. I was, I'm Clee Bryan in CBS3 Eyewitness News in Bridgeton. Cleve, we thank you for that. Let's show everyone her picture once again. Call police if you have any information and stay with Eyewitness News and CBSPhilly.com for updates on the search for Dulce Alaves. As soon as there are any new developments, we'll have them on television and online at cbsphilly.com.